Hey guys, Mittens is sad. I think his kitty girlfriend broke up with him. Don't worry, Mitty, I'll cheer you up. Aw, he's really heartbroken. Are you looking for your kitty girlfriend? Oh, I'm sorry, ex-girlfriend. Wait a minute, I know something that will cheer you up. What if we make a hummingbird feeder and hang it right outside the window so you can watch the birds all day? We can call it a hummingbird theater. <clears throat> well, let's do an intro finger dance now. A hummingbird feeder is like a TV for cats. And I'm sure it's fun for the hummingbirds too. For this project, we're going to need an empty glass bottle, copper wire or tubing, a rubber stopper, or you can use a cork, a small piece of rubber tubing, a screwdriver or a similar device to use to poke holes with, an empty container with a lid, scissors, a couple rubber bands, a funnel, red paint that can go on glass, and for the food, you're just going to need sugar and water. First, make sure your bottle is clean inside and out. I painted little red flowers on mine. Why red? Well, the hummingbird, or Trochilidae, are specialized nectarivores that are symbiotically attracted to the pollination of flowers. They are especially attracted to red ones. Why? Well, red is a very pretty color, but just not as pretty as green and purple. Now, take about two feet of your copper wire and wrap it around the bottle starting at the neck. Now make sure you wrap it nice and tight because it's gonna be hanging upside down. Now, since it's hanging upside down, it made a loop at the bottom, or top. Wait. Now just put your bottle aside, take your cork, and poke a hole in it, just like this. Now, cut a tube, and just put it through the hole in the cork. And done. This is what it should look like. Now, Get your container and your screwdriver and poke four holes in the lid. This is how the birds are gonna get their food. Be careful, don't hurt yourself. Oh! Now take your box cutter and cut an X in the middle of the lid. Now be very careful, because these are very sharp. And if you need help, just ask an adult. This is what it should look like. Now take the bottle and just put it through the lid like this. And if you need to secure it, you can just rubber band the lid to the bottle. Now to make the hummingbird food. <laughs> Take one part sugar and mix with three parts water. So we pour and we pour. <laughs> now we mix. And we mix and we mix and we mix until it dissolves. <laughs> <laughs> now with the funnel, pour your sugar water into the bottle. <gasps> now take your cork and with the short end of the tube, put it into the bottle. Ta-da! Now take your scissors and cut the excess off. Now just take your bottle and put it in the container. And voila, a nice hummingbird here. I hot glue with little red flowers on my lid to decorate it. Now, just find a nice branch to hang it on, and there you go. Thank you for joining us on another episode of Hummingbird Theater. I do say, I found the bird's performance a spiteful pursuit, a delightful liberation of uninspired mediocrity. How about you, Mittens? Well said, chap. And now for our special guest performance by Maisie. I want to see what your projects came out like. So post a picture on my Facebook wall, Twitter, and don't forget to subscribe. Toodaloo!